it's day 18 of the snap map marathon one week before christmas it's now time to get into some more intense videos and let's talk about a topic that many people discuss and it's definitely an ongoing problem and that is is snap map still playable in 2018 is it worth playing after all the problems and all the, the glitches the bugs and everything you come across in snap map is it still worth playing yes and i've got five reasons here in 2018 i personally think snap map is still playable yes there's lots of issues with snap map but in my opinion they don't overweigh the great stuff in snap map there's still plenty of good things in snap map to this day that make it worth your while let's start off with number one I've put this one at number one because actually this is quite new it's only been discovered this year and that is the summoner in snap map now in my opinion the summoner in snap map adds three key factors to snap map one no more generic baron boss fight the summoner will probably overtake that as the generic boss fight but for now at least it adds a bit more variety in the boss fights instead of the same two like 95% of the time two new gameplay now the summoner attacks very different to most of the other enemies in the game for instance she now teleports and she has a much more unique way of um, attacking as well so that adds a lot more gameplay to snap map it's quite simple unfortunately she doesn't summon now so she does let her name down but that's the snap map but it's still it does add a lot more variety in the gameplay even just for that one enemy that only does half the attacks it should do it really can make all the difference and three is the challenge the summoner is definitely one of the hardest enemies in the game all you've got to do is kind of add their damage up a little bit and you've got yourself a really intense fight going on with the summoner and yeah the summoner is a really great enemy i'm glad that they finally made their way into snap map it took a while they were technically here from the beginning but no one really discovered this to mid 2018 time just a bit before so that's definitely a valid reason to check out snap map again even if you just want to check out the new demon it's definitely just worth looking into anyway number two let's talk about the creators in snap map okay so there's not as many snap map authors as there used to be but that doesn't mean there's not a fair share of epic authors out there I mean, of course, we have all the classics that have been here from the start. We have new ones coming in all the time. And seriously, we're finding brand new creations in Snap Map by epic authors if every day now. Every time I go into um, Snap Map, there's an author I don't recognize. I've never seen before. Tore out their level and wow it's really good and it does shock me because they don't seem to get the attention they deserve and it, some of their levels really are pretty much some of the best I've seen in snap map and it is a shame that we don't seem to recognize this now anymore because snap maps kind of the said it's kind of empty these days in players as well so these authors are creating epic levels but no one's really seeing them and that's where my channel sort of comes into play. Hopefully I can showcase some of these in the future. Along with other YouTubers who play Snap Map. Hopefully we can find and showcase these levels. And bring people back into Snap Map to play these maps. Because they really do deserve it. Some authors have really created some excellent maps. And this brings me on to number 3. That is connected to number 2. Better levels. As I said a minute ago. With the great authors. We seem to discover brand new epic levels almost every day and potentially i think snap map could be better than it's ever been before at this current stage in terms of the levels and this is why because i think now we've had these authors that have been here since 2016 early 2016 when snap map actually was first around at the dooms release and all this time they've been slowly but surely learning pretty much all, all the snap map has to offer is always limitations how to get around these limitations all the mechanics that they can and cannot add in etc and now this gives people the potential to be the best they can possibly be 
now that they're more familiar with the um, editor tool of course the um, there is that map seems to find new issues nearly all the time as well but people always seem to find a way around these and some of the levels that we've come across for instance the one I played recently is antivirus they're incredible the design the gameplay everything just works to perfection the custom geo is getting better and better in every people's level and people have been able to create these epic boss fights out of complete custom geo as well and they work and actually function and that to me is incredible because at one point we was looking at an excellent custom geo map would be a small square with I don't know a few blocks here or there now we're finding these huge decorated levels I really do think snap maps that is best that it could possibly be at this moment and hopefully next year at least before eternal comes out people improve even more number four variety okay so at this point there is countless different ways to play snap map okay yeah they that's how they advertised it at the start but they were very basic and kind of repetitive as well for being quote unquote unique there was many levels that played out exactly the same even though they were technically different yeah the problem was obviously at the time snap map was at its weakest people were also unfamiliar like I said previously and it kind of made the very basic experience with this quote unquote variety but at this point once again now people have got better and now snap maps had these five updates which did back it didn't in 2016 now there's a lot more variety you have much better survival maps than there used to be of course you've got single player there's a lot more deathmatch coming into this as well so if you like your deathmatch there's plenty of maps out there completely different modes as well now there's a snap map that's just dropped where you get to play a gigantic robot I tried to record that for the channel at some time incredible you actually in a way get to control this giant robot and I said there's just so much different levels and variety out there with so much different gameplay mechanics in each of these levels I said now you have the, the classic sort of mechanics like arcade mode where you have to kill enemies quick kill enemies without being hurt so you don't lose your combo etc there's just so much out there that there never really used to be and if there was I said it was at its basic now these top class snap map custom geo pretty much phenomenal levels and now having these crazy gameplay mechanics and everything thrown in as well just to be the icing on the top of the cake wow seriously sometimes I am absolutely gobsmacked what people have been able to pull off in snap map especially with these crazy mechanics that somehow they managed to implement something that once again snap map did advertise at the start but failed to execute until 2018 2017 time it's really it really is kind of a crime that not many people have seen some of these snap maps that are being made at the minute it's definitely worth checking them out even if you like I said if there's just a specific style out there you like there's 99.9% .9 chance that it's going to be here there's even these classic Five Nights at Freddy clones so even if you like them sort of games they are here the variety is here and is at the best that it's ever been in my opinion and of course let's move on to number five co-op and competitive now these ones have kind of been going along since 2016 but they're definitely worth mentioning also this does apply for single player as well not just co-op so there's plenty of levels out there arguably about half the maps these days actually on snap map are co-op because there seems to be a um, a large community just for snap mappers out there that like to play with their friends or at least play online with other people and of course that's what the classic games were famous for so we didn't get it in campaign next best thing to do is in snap map so if you do like playing with your friends there's plenty of levels in snap map to sink your teeth into two player to four player deathmatch co-op or even survival or many other game modes plenty out there but there is also something that I love personally and 
is something that does get to me a lot and that is competitive levels so levels that make you compete for the high score or at least to do something like your personal best so many survival maps out there do this and of course you've got the levels with the gameplay mechanics where you've got to avoid being hit for example these levels make you do it as well I'm a sucker for these kind of levels personally I like to do it to um, improve my um, doom skills I mean it doesn't work very well but <laughs> Levels where, say, you've got to avoid getting hit. I love playing them. Even I know I'm probably never going to be the top player on them levels. I love playing them for myself just to improve my dodgy skills against enemies, for example. These levels, they really do get to me. And, of course, there's plenty out there as well. With survival maps, you can see how long you can survive for one. Compete for the top score. There are countless levels on Snap Map where you can do these. As I said, this has been going along for since 2016. But since it's 2018 and the levels, like I said earlier, I feel like got a lot better. This is the perfect opportunity to get back into Snap Map with your friends or just to compete for high scores on some of your favourite maps that you've discovered this year. Now, there's just five reasons why I think Snap Map is worth playing. They kind of all do connect to each other, but they're all definitely worth mentioning because. I still stand by what I said. I think Snap Map 2018 and 2019 potentially has to be or could be the best that Snap Map has ever been. Now that people are getting more used to the editor and Snap Map's that probably that said the best it's been. Not not quite the best in terms of like bugs and glitches. We've had better than we had now, but in terms of the content we got in it, it's been at its best. We haven't had an update since 2016, but we have got the summoner now, so there's definitely more stuff. People are getting smarter with their custom geo, gameplay mechanics, etc. This is Snap Map at its finest, and we might as well appreciate this before Doom Eternal. That's, of course, definitely another bonus thing worth mentioning. Even if you're just waiting for Doom Eternal, this is definitely the greatest game you could really play on a modern console, Doom related at least, or the only game you can play. And this is definitely the best way to play it on Snap Map. Multiplayer is okay, the campaign is great, but it's not as playable as the old ones in my opinion. You can't keep going back to it like you could with the classics, but still great. And then Snap Map, there's just so much variety out there. Yeah, Snap Map has its flaws, but you can't not actually thank for what is actually achieved for Doom. It was a great idea, executed pretty poorly, but overall, Snap map is great and I'm glad to say that I still play it in 2018 and hundreds of people still do as well. And I would love to know what you people think about Doom Snap Map in 2018. What are the reasons you still play it? Do you still play it to this day? Or do you think that Snap Map has passed its time now? Let me know in the comments down below and thanks for watching this video. Goodbye.